Hey guys, Sam from Memphis Makes and Moose Moon. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give us a thummy. They are free. So if you are new here, every Friday here at Memphis Makes, we do a crochet catch up, which is where we fill you in on all the crocheting we have done in the last week. Now, I only have two things to show this week. Mike only has the one because Mike is really being exclusive with his project at the moment, which is A-OK. -okay. Remember, Mike does get a lot less crochet time than I do, although this week I haven't really had a lot. Anywho, let's get into it, shall we? So, you may have already seen the crocheted joke gift that I made for my dad. I showcased that on Sunday. It had a fabulous response from all of you, which I am so grateful for because I was a little nervous to show it. The last thing I would ever want to do is offend anyone. But you all took it in the good humour that it is intended. My dad will not receive it until the end of August and I will t try and remember to tell you what his reaction was. I think we're pretty confident he's going to like it. So that was one of the crochet bits and pieces that I was up to this week. The other crochet thing that Mike and I both did was Tile of the Week Thursday, which you can see in yesterday's video. So if you haven't already seen it, please do go and check that one out. I do owe Jeannie a massive apology this week. I have not put a stitch into the celestial nine tail fox known as Fukuyo. Now there is a reason for that and if you had seen my Whip Wednesday video you will understand why. A dear friend of mine who cannot crochet asked me to make this for her son two years ago and I completely forgot about it and his birthday came around this week and I was like I better get that done. He's been waiting long enough. But did I finish him? You will find out very, very soon. So Jeannie, I will make sure that your Fukuyo is one of my priorities for next week. However, guys, don't feel bad for Jeannie because Jeannie has said to me that there is absolutely no rush, that I am to take my time. And if there are other projects that come along that are of more importance, to put hers down and focus on the ones that I need to get done, which is exactly what I did with the kit make that I will show in just a second. So Jeannie, I'm sure you will forgive me as you told me yourself that you wouldn't mind, but he will be a priority of mine next week, I promise, because I also want to get him done so I can get him shipped off to you and another tick in the book, to be perfectly honest. So I am on it, I promise, I will be on it. But for this week, May as well start with the kit project that I started on or showcased on Whip Wednesday. When I showed it to you on Whip Wednesday, I had the hat. No, I didn't. I'm lying. It's because I'm looking at it and the hat's staring at me. I had the head. I had the face. I had the beard. I had the hair. I had the body. And I believe that is all we were at. I don't think I had done the legs yet. I'm not sure. If you're not sure either, go check Wednesday's video. Anywho, the kit that I am referring to is this one here. They are not available anymore, and I believe I picked it up in either Lidl, or as you guys say, Lidl, or Aldi, or Aldi, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, um, and these were about £3.99. Now, like I said, I have had this waiting to be done for an embarrassingly long time and I think it was just about time that I did it. I still haven't gifted it to him which is why I am able to show today but it does now mean that I am free to pop round there and give him his little present and say to my friend so sorry but it's finally done. Mouth is late for everything. She knows about that. She understands. Anyway you may have heard on Wednesday's video that I am not a fan of Amigurumi kits. The yarn is a little inferior um, the instructions aren't always clear or extensive in their explanations. Some of it you have to just kind of guess. And in my opinion, there are so many talented designers out there that there are much nicer patterns, in my opinion, that I could have found on Etsy or Ravelry or Pinterest or any of the places you find patterns. 
if it was my choice i would have found a nicer pattern and i would have used nicer yarn from my stash but i had this kit i promised i'd make the kit i used everything from within the kit the only thing i changed was that i swapped out the cheap metal hook for my three millimeter dots which i believe is still in here yeah my three millimeter dots because now that i've got tools that i love i don't think i could go back to where i started and the hook that came with this is where I started nearly nine, ten years ago. So I went with my dots. And I still have quite a bit of yarn left. I have that in the lilac. That in the brown. These will go in the scrap bin. Our scrap bin is going to be overflowing again. This of the light blue. This of the peachy beige. This of the black this of the dark blue so you do get more than enough yarn in this particular kit sometimes that's an issue as well you don't get enough materials and that of the gray so i had more than enough yarn i also had more than enough stuffing i only used about two thirds so this will go in my other stuffing stash which is cool because i make amigurumis fairly frequently i did do every single part of the pattern that the booklet dictated that i did and I will keep this because you never know. I may want to make it again. I highly doubt it. But you never know. It's a pattern for my stash. Um, and then snips. They didn't come with it. They're my snips. That was the hook that did come with it that I swapped out for the dots. This is where I started, guys. And I can't go back. I'm sorry. And me little old stitch marker. So that is the kit. Oh, I better not chuck that in there. I'll lose it. I know what I'm like. I know what I'm like. And now I have lost it in the box. How is that possible? There we go. So, instructions finished. Stuffing finished. And we'll go into stash. All the yarn finished. We'll go into stash. It's all scrapping. I put my dots away. Put my snips away. I'll put this in my case in case I'm ever desperate for a hook. But. So there we have it would i buy these kits again no now that i have more experience in amigurumi now that i have had so much more enjoyment of finding wonderful better aesthetically pleasing patterns from the interwebs i will not be buying kits again not for amigurumi i may buy kits for other things like blankets or afghans or things like that i've done that with sophie's universe before um so i i will do kits just probably not amigurumi ones and these are just my opinions you may love them and if you love them all power to you glad there's a market for them and at three pounds 99 bargain price you get exactly what you pay for and if it means you get an amigurumi out of it that you love happy days for me no thank you very much okay so are you ready to see oh you can see a little sneak peek this is a little hat there and this little bobbly bit at the top wasn't supposed to be there it's just a little bit of mount for character the little boy's not going to know it's not supposed to be there let me just straighten him up and let me show you at his best are you ready Ta -da! there he is guys he's got his little legs he's got a little bow on his beard he's got his arms on and his wand he's got his hat he's got his cloak he is good to go. Dumbledore is done. Yay. And for an amigurumi, this is quite heavy. Do you think? Mm. I don't know. I don't know what it is that makes him heavier. And I did just tack down the point of his beard. That wasn't part of the instructions, but it kept curling up and it was annoying me. So I just put a little stitch in there to keep it down. And then, oh, wrong way. Close up of his wand. There you go. He's got his wand ready for his magic. And then the little colour work in the hat. I was supposed to embroider some extra stitches in this colour work. Didn't want to. I was lazy. I was over it. Again, I'm just being honest, folks. But you can still see. And I actually think they look like clouds on his hat, personally. But there you go. There he is in all his glory. The little Dumbledore kit, and I will hold him up next to the box. 
did I do okay? Now his beard does look a bit funky compared to the one on the box, but that was part of the guesswork that I was talking about. It didn't give me clear instructions. So it's not quite right, but it's passable. You can still tell it's Dumbledore, right? There we go. So Mr. Dumbledore is all done, ready to go and live with a little boy that's gonna love him completely and utterly because my friend won't mind me telling you the little boy in question has um some learning difficulties and when he loves something he loves it hard so hopefully this will be loved super super hard and all my frustration and mm, about it will be worth it because it's about bringing joy to others right hopefully that's what Dumbledore's going to do he's going to weave his little magic and bring some joy into a little boy's heart and that's all I can ask for guys so there we go an fo on a friday technically thursday because i just finished sewing it together before we clipped the camera on and i have to film the day before for you to be able to see this on a friday but fo friday woohoo <laughs> oh the beauty and magicry that magicry have i just made up a word yeah, yeah the beauty and the magic of youtube especially <clears throat> when you pre-record or schedule content you think it's an FO Friday, it's actually an FO Thursday, which is even better. Anyway, the only other thing I have got to show you is I just put a little bit more work on my two colour granny. However, not as much as last week because I was focusing on my dad's joke gift and then tile of the week and then Dumbledore. So this hasn't had much love, but there is a smidgy bit of progress and every stitch added is progress. In my opinion that's the way I look at it it was stitches that weren't there last week so therefore I'm gonna show you but don't don't expect reams and reams of it guys because there isn't now I need to work up there we go and I'm still attached to both colors here we go has got a bit bigger can they see I can't it's got see quite a bit bigger lift Lift. I am lifting. I can't, mm. My arms don't go any higher. I'm shorter than you. But here, oh, I'm showing you the back. Oh. I always tell my cost for that, and now I've just gone and done it myself. Lift. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Being attached to two balls of yarn as well makes this fairly tricky. Oh. There's yarn everywhere. Let's try that again, shall we? Where that orange stitch marker was where I left off last week. So here. So I have got a little bit of progress, but not much. I am on the second cake of the lakeside, the Spun Colours lakeside. And I'm on my fifth ball of Canadiana. I've only got six. So I'm getting very close to the end of the Canadiana. But I'm sure she won't mind me telling you. The Yarny Fairy Godmother reached out to me this week in email and she said, if you would like some more yarn to add to your blanket, just say the word and it's yours. And I felt a little bit awful because I didn't want to be greedy. Didn't want to like just take, take, take because she's so uber generous anyway. She said, it's not greedy because I offered. Take my offer. So hopefully, fingers crossed, at some point, and I said, don't rush. I can put it sleeping in a bag until it arrives and concentrate on some other things. This is my memento blanket. I'm going to be keeping it forever. You could send it in three years time and I'll just add to it then. No problem. So I do think my Yarny Fairy Godmother is going to save the day yet again and send me some more Canadiana because I still have a whole cake and this half a one. So, yeah. Isn't she just wonderful? Aren't I so lucky? So there you go, just a smidgy bit of progress. I'd say that's about an inch and a half added. No, maybe a bit more than that. Two. Two inches, you just reckon? Maybe just over, actually. Just over two inches? That's even better then. I'm underestimating myself. I'm going to need to get a clearer colour stitch marker or put it on one of the darker colours so that you can see. So I'm going to move that stitch marker back up to here and will it come back next week with more work added to it? Who knows? But there we go. Two Colour Granny Square by Olga Poltava. I will link Olga down in the description box. 
um, both her YouTube channel and where you can get this. This is a paid for pattern. Really heavy. It is That's really heavy. heavy. Yeah. It is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. So if you click the link, be warned, you are going to have to pay for it. But it is worth every single bit of money. Because I can't remember whether it's in dollars or not. But every single tiny little, the smallest. Cent or pence. Yeah, it's worth every penny of it. This will be a pattern that I repeat more and more in the future. I love it. Several of you have said that I have inspired you to do one for yourselves. So that will be really lovely to see if any of you guys make one of these yourselves. It's not a crochet along. Just putting that out there. It's not a crochet along. This is just a project I have chosen to do, but you guys love it and want to do one as well. So if you do, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I find it very addictive, very restful and relaxing. And it's going to be beautiful when it's done and a forever memory of my Yarny Fairy Godmother because I'm going to keep it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So yes, two colour granny square, Olga Poltava. Oh, and she has so many other beautiful patterns. If you have five minutes, just, just peruse. Peruse the options and I bet you will not come away without purchasing at least one pattern because they are stunning. Stunning. And they look, um, what's the word? intimidating and really intense the the one that you did for christina's wrap and this one looks way more involved than it actually is easy peasy lemon squeezy if we can do it guys you can do it i promise might even have a little sneaky peek of that what Picture. sneaky peek of what of the old wrap oh some of them would have seen it yeah Bearing in mind, guys, while Mike's looking for a picture, um, there will be content tomorrow. I am not sure what that's going to be yet. We are still uncertain whether we are going to go live. So you're just going to have to watch this space to see if I schedule a live or not. But real life and family first. And it is my nephew's sixth birthday. And we have agreed to go party like the pirates we are. And there you go. Wait for it to focus. Keep it still. Just keep it still. There you go. There it is. That was the wrap that Mike did. It looks very intensive. It's really not, honestly. Mike will tell you that if he can do it, you can do it. Very much so. So, yeah, we might be partying like pirates because my little nephew is obsessed with pirates. Gonna have to be a lot of ooh, ah, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, muster up the energy, say. Um... I can be a pirate. Yeah. We're from pirate. Land. And I also remembered that the friend who asked me to do the crochet kit for a little boy, it's her birthday celebrations this weekend, and I think I'm going to have to let her down, and I feel really bad because it's her 40th. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a conversation with Mike and my family and see what I can sort out, but I don't think I can be at a pirate party, a 40th birthday party, and alive all at the same time. There's only so much of me to go around, guys. So we'll see. Just watch this space. If a live is scheduled, we are going. If it's not, we probably are not. And you'll have to just come party even harder next week. Okay? Sorry about that. Anyway, over to you, Mike. I am done and dusted. So, as you all know, if, unless you're brand spanking new. And we do have a few brand spankers. Oh, so for the brand spankers, I am doing... And of course, I have said recently that I am only going to be doing hugs, yeah, shawls, or mm -hmm. roulettes, or scarves. Yeah, and some of you eagle-eyed people will now know who got Mike's last hug. Yes. If you don't know, there. yeah, there is a video, but if you don't know, ask down in the comments who got Mike's hug. You know, the lilac-y lavender down to the starry the dark feeling fancy blue, the shawl. feeling fancy one. If you don't know and you want to know, I will let you know on one condition. When I tell you who received it, you go and watch their video and mm. chuck some yarn in their window and leave a thummy and leave a comment saying, Mike Shaw really was beautiful. Okay? Anyway, the new one I'm doing is by OM Granny Square Ursula. Mm -hmm. It is the beautiful friend's shawl. It's a oh, triangle shawl. And I'm doing it in... I will link OM Granny Square in the description box. And I will link 
to where you can find that pattern on Ravelry. Again, it is a paid pattern, but it is worth every single cent, dollar, whatever currency it I'm is I'm doing in. it in the Cotton King's Sultan Deluxe Shine, colour number eight. And yeah. for those of you who don't know, it is a thousand metres. I didn't go through my stats this time. Oh, well. 1,093 yards, 8.8 .8 ounces. It recommends a 2.5 to a 3.5 millimetre. You didn't give the grams. 250 grams. You just said 8.8 .8 ounces and then skipped on. Okay. 3.5 to 4 millimetre hook. It is 96% cotton and 4% polyester. Which is two, the sparkle. Yes. A two weight fine. Um, Made in Turkey. 30 degree Celsius wash. None of the other stuff except dry flat. Lay flat to dry. Mm -hmm. Made in Turkey. Colour number eight. There you go. And this is what that yarn looks like. So can you see what colour is it yet, guys? What colour's in the middle? What colour's in the middle? What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, and this will be a hug for another of our friends as well. Yeah, without further ado, here it comes. Give it a waft so they can see the drape. There you go. There it is. Lots so, another square. three rows on. I got another three rows done, yeah. Awesome. Lots of granny squares. No, lots of granny stitches. Stitches, Granny sorry. clusters. It's only a granny square if you're making a square, babe. You're making a triangle. So lots of granny triangles. No, <laughs> granny clusters. <laughs> I'm joking. But yes, yeah, that's mine. There you go. So Mike got three rows on because, like I said earlier, he gets a lot less crochet in time than I do. And I sometimes don't. No, and we do have the tile of the week segment every week, which eats up quite a bit of your weekend crochet time. Let's put it that way. Yes. So, you have had a Dumbledore Amigurumi kit to look at, you have had my two colour granny square blanket to look at, and you have now had the beautiful friend shawl to look at. But that's all we've got folks, that is literally it for today. Like I said, there will be a video tomorrow, what it's going to be, I don't yet know, I've got to figure that out, and I'm sat here going, I have no idea what I'm going to bring to you, but there is always daily content, I always think of something, so stay tuned. Oh, earthquake, do apologise. I had a leg. Not me this time. No, I had a leg twitch. Do apologise. Um, and we're still not sure whether we're going live on Saturday or not. But make sure you go to Granny D's anyway. And if you can raid us, please do. We would really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> and I always think there's something else that I need to say. Oh, if you want to know who's who got Mike's last hug ask in the comments and I shall tell as long as you promise to go and watch that video um what else is going on I'm pretty sure there's something else going on oh I've been asked to test another pattern from a wonderful friend of mine but I don't know if I'm allowed to even mention the name of it the designer of it I haven't even picked my yarn yet so that will be coming next week as well Jeannie your nine tails will be worked on next week, I promise. But until any of that, stay safe. Be kind. Look after one another. Get some good quality time in real loved ones. Get some good quality craft time in. We will see you in the next one. Around the YouTube streets. Bye, guys. Love ya.